Hey everyone, and welcome back to Shades of Sasha. If you're new here, take a seat, put your crown on, and welcome to the gang. And if you're in part of the gang, you already know what time it is. What's good, baby? So today's video is all about this hair. So since you're here, just keep on watching. Let's jump into my rating system and my overall thoughts on this unit. If you're new here, hello, my name is Sasha and welcome to Shades of Sasha. And so the breakdown of how I pretty much do these is that I do a rating system from one to 10 and I tell you about the feel, customization, quality of the hair. And at the end, I kind of give you a gist of if I would actually recommend or not recommend. So sit back, relax, and let's just get into it. So this is the Ultra Perfect Hairline 13 by 6 lace front wig in the style L'Oreal and I have mine in the DRFF um, or DFFR Cajun Spice. That's pretty much what this color is. And the cheapest I am now seeing it for is $37.88 on Elevate Styles. Okay, that's pretty much what I'm seeing it for. I also kind of see it on Hair So Fly for like a $32.99. I don't know but let's get into it what are my overall thoughts on this unit to be very honest I don't like this unit and now I kind of see why I was holding off for so long on reviewing this unit like I've always seen this unit on other people and there's something I've just been like Ooh, I don't really think she's for me like she's just not giving me what I would actually want in a wig but I gave in because I was like, I wanted some ginger spice, especially with it being close to like fall, like we're exiting summer, like now it's time to get into just like some Cajun and that's what I wanted to do. And honestly, your girl is just not sold. Like I'm just not sold. But here is the reason why. When it comes to shedding, I'm definitely giving this wig a 3.7 to a 4.2. That's how specific I am. 3.7 to a 4.2 out of 10 because she sheds. Like when I'm telling y'all, I was like brushing this hair out. I don't want to brush anymore. Like I don't want to brush. I don't want to comb. Like I use a wide tube comb. I have these brushes that are synthetic wig brushes. And honestly, I just, I don't want to brush anymore. I just don't. Like I just feel like the hair was just coming out and I was like, I cannot, I cannot do this. This is too much. When it comes to the texture and the feel of this unit, it feels more on the plasticky side. And so I've described this before when I said, it kind of feels as if like you've washed your hair, moisturized it, but something is stripping the moisture from your hair and it just feels very dry. So that, and as well as like it feeling plasticky is just the feeling I'm getting and I'm just not a fan. I don't know if I'm gonna be the first person that's actually going to just kind of like shit on this wig, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna let y'all know, even like right now, like what I'm saying with the shut in, what is all of this? Like as my hands are kind of like just running not even running through it. This is my hands touching the bottom of the unit and it's just kind of like falling apart, okay? The customization of the inside of the wig, I actually did like it. I did love the way how when I put the wig on, it just fit, fit snug. I would say it's kind of big head friendly, but that's only because the actual perimeter of the unit it was just a little bit too much, so I think that's the only reason why like it would be considered big head friendly but it's not because inside or anything like this is just really long like this is exactly where it stops and i feel like i could have cut more if i wanted to but given the fact of how 
much shedding I'm receiving. I actually do not want to cut this wig more than I have to. The fact that I even put the wig in like a side part, I was trying to middle part, it wasn't hitting. I tried the other side. I was like, I don't like this wig. Like, that's just what it is. I'm not a fan of this wig and I'm just, I'm just going to be honest about it. I just don't like the wig at all. I think the shedding is just too much. It doesn't really tangle that much, but at the same time, like I said, I'm not really putting my hands through it because I, I fear okay like my like one of the fears i have is to go outside and my wig is falling off but another fear is like you ever go outside and like say you're doing something like this oh here we go i guess this gives y'all the answer on the on the tangling and like all of this is happening it, i just feel like it's just be embarrassing <laughs> it's embarrassing so that's another fear i have to like go outside and that actually happening just don't want that at all and so this wig just kind of gives me an idea that all of those fears will come true and I'm like pack this up right now and like turn me away the price point I think is pretty decent I really do like the price of the unit but for the quality that you are receiving I would definitely not recommend I have tried and received other units that I felt like have been way better. The hairline of it, I also think it was pretty decent. The fact that it says perfect hairline, I'm telling y'all I've tried that line before. And this just one, this one isn't hitting. I, if you go back and you watch my Braylon um, unit and my review on it, Braylon kind of reminds me of this, but I actually liked Braylon more. So if I had to choose between this, the L'Oreal and the Braylon unit, I'm actually going to just, go the out the opposite way because this is just not it but those are my overall thoughts i just really want you to know like i said it sheds like crazy um even with like that being a brush or just the fact of like the texture of itself rubbing on each other maybe it's the fact that it's a colored unit but i definitely would not recommend it's just doing a lot and it's it just feels like for someone who would get a wig this would just stress y'all out and it just is not worth it whatsoever but thank y'all so much for watching and supporting your girl and i hope y'all have a blessed and wonderful day